The following is an update and technical analysis on ASML, a company of the technology sector in semiconductor equipment and materials. Based upon the daily interval where I had mentioned on the 6th of July 2023, we're trading spot price 699.31. And really, uh, how imperative this primary reactionary high downtrend line was if and when we uh, had a potential bear trap and or frost break breakdown with the 50 exponential moving average and the $700 uh, price support up above where we could have a momentum fueled overshoot right back into the down primary downtrend line, only extending the negative and bearish divergences uh, on a much, much larger scale, where additionally I added a uh, new primary reactionary uptrend line off the bottom of the trough of November of 2022. Watch for a uh, reaction right back into this range if and when we crack down below it. And here's the update. Well, we ended up having that, putting that nice clean divergent high, ended up back testing it. We ended up back testing it with a reactionary low. Looks like we we're going to begin to take off and potentially start the scale and out spot process. And boom, the rug just got completely pulled underneath everyone's feet. Ended up breaking down, putting a nice clean sell signal gap down below this new primary reactionary uptrend line. Again, off the November 2022 reactionary lows with a multitude of reaction right across that entire sphere of the uptrend line. And we ended up breaking down, putting in that sell signal and ended up back testing really to the button there offering a great additional objective short trade entry watch out for some of these key targets and that entire trade has been good for an 18.75 percent crash to the downside where we had a ton of reaction uh, where we uh, nearly back tested uh, multiple times the 67109 price support ended up gapping down back tested really to the button especially if you're an active and or day trader some of these uh, gains were just a uh, nice clean multi-day continuation rallies right off that key inflection point uh, ended up getting rejected once again put in a uh, Bear trap, false whipsaw like reaction, closed right back above it again, slammed right into the 671.09 price resistance. Uh, and again, back testing it once again, completely gapping down. And here we are starting to trade down below my last prim my last primary target off the 604.94 price support. And, and I've added some new key levels to watch uh, the 584.99 uh, price. I, I wouldn't consider it a price support level, but more a of a psychological level. If we undercut that previous reactionary low there, I would only suspect a further breakdown in selling. On a big move down to 563.67 price support for another additional 5% crash. And then additionally, what I have here is a, a pretty big major transitioning point based upon the weekly interval, much larger time frame, which would be good for an 8% crash. And I would believe a, uh, a reversal there. Uh, great risk reward ratio to the upside, especially if we have any positive and or bullish developments and sentiment and divergences based upon the hourly interval and or near term intervals that would uh, I, I believe uh, give the greatest risk reward ratio to the downside for a move to the upside and shifting those shorts if and when we go on to retest that key inflection point that would be a great long trade balance in my opinion if the opportunity were to arise zooming you out to the much larger picture off this primary reactionary downtrend line off the september 2021 call it multi-year uh, primary reactionary price resistance uh, that was what you would call a false breakout momentum overshoot right back into that key trading range and there is nothing more bearish in trading than a false breakout and if you're a long-term dollar cost average long-term investor these are your key levels uh, to really hone in on uh, to dollar cost average down to the 563.67 price support and then additionally the much larger uh, 545 uh, price support based upon the weekly interval here and then additionally if we break below that i could give you some more targets but again for now uh, that, that's my maximum uh, of carnage capitulation range if and when we go down to retest that level uh, correlated with the 200 weekly exponential moving average hovering in down below for any long-term investors looking to buy a sweet discount if you're a firm believer in the long term of the semiconductor company and asml of course you had the united states pressuring the netherlands to enforce a trade embargo against china which is the current situation more than likely resulting in the downfall where geopolitical risks are pretty significant especially given that asml's customers base really relies on manual accounts and TSMSC's headquarters that are located in a country that could potentially be in conflict with China at any given moment. And then what comes with that is additionally the cycle of the industry and the possibility of a recession that are major concerns as it's a capital intensive business and prolonged high rates could have a detrimental impact on the short term prospects of the business.